Scuba Lee D, Scuba Lee Do. Happy Wednesday to you and you. Scuba Lee Do, Scuba Lee D. Don't take yourself too seriously. Say bada bang boom, yes I give thanks. Bada bang boom on a roll like tanks. Holy cow, that's an albino lizard doing its thing and it's magic like a wizard. Yes I, yes so, so high, so low. Hello, happy Wednesday. This is Philosophical coming live from Arizona. This is my first time in this state, but it's not really a state because man just drew a line on a big map and called it a state. From outer space, it's just a bioregion. But anywho, I'm happy to be here in Arizona. Um, <laughs> I'm on my way to the Wisdom of the Origins conference, which I'm super excited about. It's in Albuquerque, New Mexico, and it's this huge gathering of all these indigenous elders from around the world, all these visionaries and thinkers, and um, I like to call it a convergence or a coalescence rather than a conference because that has a lot of connotation to it. I don't have a business suit prepared or anything like that. Um, but anywho, it's this really exciting thing. I'll post a link to the information about it. It's people are going to be talking about changes in 2012 and how we can really embody the new paradigm so I'm super excited about that and we just caught a ride my friend and I uh, through Craigslist Craigslist is an amazing resource if you haven't used Craigslist it's great for getting rides with people sharing um, getting all sorts of things it's kind of like a gift economy um, I mean, there's so many different forms of the gift economy that are developing in this new paradigm. So I encourage you to use Craigslist. Also, couch surfing is something awesome. And just a few other things I feel like sharing. Um, recently, in the past six months, I've really um, come to find coffee as, as a sacred plant medicine. And I just want to share how much I, I believe coffee is really a powerful healing plant if we respect it and if we treat it as sacred. And um, I encourage you if you drink coffee to just try and figure out what benefits it gives you and maybe, maybe take a few days off or a week off from coffee and then go back to it and, and really like give thanks for it. and. I feel like you will get so much more benefits from it like for me it really just connects me to like a deeper sense of profundity where I can like feel things on a more deep level and it also helps me increase my creativity and imagination but I've found if I if I drink it every day then it kind of drains those capacities and doesn't allow me it's like the best teacher um, makes itself um, it may, so you don't have to depend on it essentially so that's the key is to like learn the lesson from the coffee or the plant medicine and then take some time off do your own homework and then it's like you go back for another lesson after you've done your homework so I just want to share that I feel coffee is really a sacred plant medicine if it's respected, especially if it's organically grown, like fair trade. You can really like feel the energy in the coffee beans. It's really incredible. Um, and I just learned this, uh, I just saw in this magazine the other day, some sort of technique for growing coffee where we don't have to ship it in from around the world. It's like some crazy solar technique so I'll probably post a link to that too if I can find it. And I'm sure I can find it because the internet has everything. And the internet is super awesome. And we are connected through the internet. And it's the World Wide Web that stretches over the whole globe. And it's super exciting. So get excited. I'm excited. I'm yelling and hanging out with albino lizards here. And happy Wednesday in this beautiful desert. And I think I'm going to beatbox a little bit more. Because I like beatboxing and fleet boxing and skeet boxing and bleep boxing. So I put a 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 put
another thing I want to share. Dancing is an extremely powerful and healing practice. And when I was at Burning Man, I did not barely dance at all, which I don't regret because I don't regret anything. Everything is lear is a learning experience. But I went to this this gathering afterwards and just danced to this crazy techno music for like three hours and it was just so powerful so healing and I encourage you to just dance and let yourself go free and it's so much fun um, like techno electronic music is just like it just like reorganizes your DNA it's just like pure vibration it's just like so anywho I encourage you to dance and take off your pants if you want, sit on the slants, do some sacred chants like some Ong Namo Guru Dev Namo, Ong Namo Guru Dev, let's flow. So thanks for watching, I'm philosophical, I'm a crazy monkey hanging out with an albino lizard. Have a beautiful day, peace. <laughs> and check out the links please, and share this video if you want please, because there's lots of cool stuff on the internet, peace.